happy Easter Sunday. Um, so right now, my seat has been smoothing these photos. Um, I'm probably going to do a time lapse again just because I want to help him and make sure that this is done right. So basically, if you saw, oh lord, if you saw my last vlog, oh god, where, where did that go? Oh, Salem found it already. He literally is holding the nail. <laughs> so um, if you saw my last vlog, you know that we, or last two, you know I wanted to put these pictures up and then in the last vlog I hung the pictures up with Sam. They are too far apart. So currently they're sitting at like 11 and a quarter inches apart and they need to be about six inches apart. So they look good but we're gonna just change them up a little bit. So I'm gonna time lapse it now so you guys can see. So excited. sending a video live now I um so I came home today right I was like I'm gonna be so productive I got home from work normal time right literally walked in the door threw myself on the counter and got in bed and took a nap which is why my makeup looks like crap but I was I'm so exhausted my I had a two and a half hour meeting today two and a half hour meeting about a furniture bid that we're going um I guess we're going on at my company and I just was like exhausted after that two and a half hour meeting uh, I know that people are probably gonna be like she's pregnant you're pregnant I'm not pregnant I literally be like I'm tired you're pregnant I'm sick you're pregnant no I'm not pregnant don't want to be um so I was just like exhausted so I woke up and I was really mad at myself I still have a video to edit still have other videos to get ready for this week, a blog post to finish up, and I just took a nap. But sometimes you yeah, just got a nap, right? Um, I got this morning, let me just, let me tell you this hilarious story. So I, you know, I've started being more um, out there, I guess, about not accepting hate comments in my comment section on my main channel. It's kind of getting annoying to have to say it in every video, but really I've noticed less hate comments because I say that because people just know I can say it, but she's going to erase it if it's rude. Um, and there's a difference between constructive criticism and hate, right? So this lady, I wake up and it seems like I always get the worst hate comments like in the morning when I wake up because I guess Satan's trying to ruin my day. But I woke up this morning and I guess I'm just going to blame it on the coffee-less brain. I did not understand what this lady was saying. So I had a What's in My Bag video. And she commented something like, the most unwatchable piece of garbage, Dorothy, or something. And then she commented again and was like, you wonder why you get so much hate. I was like, Dorothy? What the crap does she mean by Dorothy? And I was just racking my brain about it. And I drank my first cup of coffee. Still was like, what the heck does she mean? I erased it. I moved on. But I still was like, what does she mean by Dorothy? So I told my husband, he was like, like from the Wizard of Oz? Like, how was your hair? She was talking about the braids I was wearing in the video. Like, I had my hair in two braids. I was like, honey, if you're going to try to insult me, maybe don't go for one of my favorite childhood movies. Like, Thank you for comparing me to Dorothy. I love her. I love her red slippers. I literally have a childhood Halloween photo. I am dressed like Dorothy. I was obsessed. Okay. Trying to insult me by calling me Dorothy. You failed. I like that. So I just thought that was really funny. But I was just like, what the heck does this girl mean by Dorothy? Why is she calling me Dorothy? My name is Mariah. <laughs> no coffee. 
Oh, also, I painted my nails. So, you can kind of see them. So, I painted them like a silvery glitter. They're super pretty, right? This is that Model One's nail polish that I'm like in love with from Gel Polish. Like, it, look how shiny that is. It will literally stay that shiny the entire time this nail's on, this stuff's on. And it's this is one coat. So, I saw a girl yesterday on Instagram and she had her nails painted with silver sparkle. So, I painted my nails silver sparkle. It's pathetic, but she did. And it actually looked a lot better on her because she was tan and I am not tan currently. So, oh well, but I like it. It's really pretty. Okay. So I want to go on a run, but I also want to eat a muffin. So I'm going to do that. No shame in my game, man. Look at these. They're so... Sam. Look at... Get them from Lidl. They're so good. You just like... Nuke them in the microwave for a few seconds. They're delicious. I ordered a vlog camera. I'm so excited. So I um, got the Canon G7X Mark II. I'm excited. Can't wait. Ow, oh, this is really hot. Um, I wanted a camera. So I bought, when I bought my Rebel, I use a Rebel T6 for vlog, for my uh, main channel. And I think it's a Rebel T6i that has the flip out like screen so being able to flip out the screen is a super big deal to me not being able to see yourself when you're vlogging is super frustrating um, I had to do it my entire wedding week and it was just horrible but I thought that the rebel t6 had the flip out screen and it doesn't it's the t6i so I was like great oh sorry so I finally was like okay I just need to get I just need to get um a vlog camera and I saw a lot of really good reviews about the Canon G7X. Okay I really wish I had another muffin because I would eat it right now. Um so I guess they just recently came out with the Canon G7X Mark III. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate. Hold on a minute. But I think I heard somewhere that they did. So I was looking into that because it's new it's a little bit more expensive and then I started looking into if you buy just the camera it's like $600 so okay let me rephrase you google Canon G7X Mark II if you just google that right it'll pull up a bunch of different prices um, Walmart Amazon you know Ted's Electronics Canon itself so the Canon itself is $500 on like the Canon website. If you go to Walmart, it's like 624 just for the camera. They don't carry it in store. You have to order it. And then um, if you get the camera with a whole bunch of accessories, like a camera bag, an extra battery charger, a SD card, a tripod, like all this stuff, you get it for 560 And I was like, what the heck? So I ended up getting it from Walmart because I wanted to get a set, like a pack or whatever, a little thing, and every single person on Amazon that I could find that had a lot of stars was outrageously expensive, and then the ones that were more in the price range of Walmart, people were like, oh, this sent me a, a pre-loved camera or a, you know, refurbished camera, and I want a new camera, so... Went to Walmart, found out the camera was new, so I bought it from Walmart. <sighs> Won't be here for like two weeks, and I'm sad. Like, literally two weeks from today. I want it! Zeus, stop it. So in roughly three weeks, you should get better video quality. I'm really excited about that. Alright, so I'm going to go change. I'm going to go on a run. The little hoodlum right there. You can barely see him. See his little tail wagon? Doug. Doug it is. Doug. Hey. Hey. Oh my goodness. You want to give him a audit? Oh, 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 oh. Don't break my necklace. That's what I get for letting you jump. We'll let this little hoodlum out and I'm going to go on a run. Chat later. Peace. That was lame. Oh, y'all. Ooh, I'm, ooh. I just had a bad day. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about my day. Okay. So, two, well, lots of things.
No, I'm only tell you two things. Okay, so mm, I look like crap. Usually, when I work from home, I have now started liking to get up to get dressed, makes me more productive, I get more done, I sit at my desk, I work all day, right? Sam and I both do that, because when we both work from home, it looks like I have a black eye. Um, it, it just is easier, right? So I get up this morning, and usually what I'll do is I'll get up, and like, it's it's early. Why, why is there a person on the golf cart? Excuse me, so that's the main road. You are not allowed to be driving a golf cart there? Okay. So usually I'll get up in the morning times and really early, like work hours are still normal when I work from home, still work eight to five, right? So I'll get up like, and around 7.30, I will start to get everything ready. I'll get my laptop up, I'll pull up my programs, and I'll go ahead and I'll finish my coffee and my breakfast so that I can, you know, make sure I start work on time. Well. Today, I get on and I get to connect to a server at work. So we have like this very big hub in one of our offices. Wow, it's just the best day. Um, we have a very big hub in our offices and I connect to that hub as long as I can connect to Wi-Fi, I can connect to that hub from anywhere, which is how I'm able to work from home. Can't get connected to the hub. Connect to the internet, can't connect to the hub. Gotta get the IT guy. The IT guy told me to try this, didn't work. Try that, didn't work. Try that, didn't work. So like literally, it was like two hours. And we were going back and forth and finally we figured out what the freaking problem was. And I was so mad, it was such a minor issue. <sighs> and I was just so frustrated. So my work day, although I was like, literally sat down at 7.30 and was like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do anything. I didn't actually get to start working, like doing actual things until like two hours later. So I was already frustrated. It, it just really set off my whole day. So then I, I live in a part of town where like, I'm very lucky. We have a very good post office system. And I say that because I know that there are other parts of the country that like have horrible post office systems. They hate their post offices. People don't. You know, it, it really just depends on who's who's working there. So, I was supposed to get a package on Monday. Um, it's two pieces of jewelry that are supposed to come in. Hadn't come yet. And so, literally, I, I don't know exactly how it all works, but when it started, when I ordered the product, it said it was in Charleston, South Carolina. And then it went to the Greenville Hub, which is like very normal for project for products or whatever. They go to the Greenville Hub and then they get distributed out to um, our like local post office. So that's the like county hub or whatever, right? So the product goes from Charleston to Greenville and then it goes back to Charleston. And so I was like, well, that's kind of annoying. And then it came back to Greenville two days ago. And it still hasn't anything. So I finally just, I like messaged the lady, um, I messaged the UP, USPS and I was like, I need to file a claim. I don't even know how because it, it, there's not even a stolen package. I just need to know what the heck's going on with my package because it's pieces of jewelry. Um, can you help me? And so not even 10 minutes later, I get an awesome phone call from the lady and she was like, hey, I've been looking into this and she was like, the Greenville hub is like Fort Knox. She was like, it's really hard to get in there. Um, it's really hard to get anybody on the phone. It's really hard to get a hold of the drivers. She was like, but it should be here by tomorrow, right? So then about 10 minutes later, I see it moving, right? Meaning, okay, it's in, it's coming to our local hub, meaning it should be here by tomorrow. I just got a text message that had just now left the Green Bull facility. So I don't even know if it's going to be here tomorrow. I'm really annoyed with that. Like really annoyed. I don't know, but I think it's just like a mix of my day starting out really bad and like I didn't get to get ready and I was really frustrated and really, really stressed out because I'm working on a really big project right now that it just like domino effect, everything else went wrong. So I'm really frustrated, but it's okay. It was just a bad day. Everybody has them. Try to stay positive. So what we're going to do for the rest of this vlog, and then I'm going to finish it up. Is. I am starting spring cleaning, but it's made me notice a little bit more like things that need like detail cleaning. So like all the window seals and um, just very random things that need to be cleaned. They made me realize they need to be cleaned. So I'm gonna start spring cleaning today. Hmm. 
it's not gonna be fun. And the thing about spring cleaning is that it's not normal cleaning, so I'll feel cleaner, but nothing will look cleaner because everything else will still be covered in dog hair. Right, Doug? I don't know if I've ever told you guys. I'm addicted to Clorox wipes, and I'm stressing out because I think I might be out of them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. All right, well, never mind. Change of plans. We're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna get us the, some Clorox wipes. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing without Clorox wipes in this house. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit. Woo! Okay, we are good. To, oh, we are good to go. I need to clean this kitchen. All right, I was freaking out. Didn't have my Clorox wipes. Not okay. So I have to clean up every time my husband cooks me. He makes a mess and doesn't clean it up properly. Cause you know, he's a man. That's what he does. So I'm gonna get clean it. Okay. I'm in a very weird mood all of a sudden. Look at that with the clear tops, Clorox. So I don't have to look in to know how many Clor That's why I love y'all. Okay, so the kitchen is done. It looks so clean, so nice. It's only gonna be like this for like 10 minutes and then uh, either an animal will mess it up or my husband, you know, whatever. So what I'm gonna do next is the dining room. So I don't have the dining table set currently. I'm gonna change that out. I've been looking for specific looking type of greenery, like a very specific kind and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm still keeping that on the table because I want something on the table because it keeps the cats off of it when stuff like that's on there. So I'm uh, still looking and I'm going to clean the blinds because they are gross. And then I'm going to finish out this vlog because your girl's tired, okay? I don't want to do this all day. So you are going to continue to see, but before I forget, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. Join the vlog fam.